Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video we are going to talk about a book that is part of my 12 books for 12 months of 2022. So it's part of that challenge and is my March reading. And that book is Dangerous Liaisons by Cordelot de la Clos. I think that's how we pronounce it. This is a French writer and his birth name is Pierre Amboise Francois Cordelot de la Clos. And he was born in October 18, 1741. Originated from a family who is supposed to be Spanish and that have integrated the nobles a few times earlier. So his family was new blood in aristocracy. They weren't a family that was rich for over generations. They were new rich. He was a good student and opted for a military career, but was always drawn to literature. He would become a great French writer from the 18th century and of all time. He passed away in Tarant, no, 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 Tarant, with more than 60 years in November 6, 1803. So when Dangerous Liaisons was published in France, it was considered a disrespectful novel, like um, a diabolical novel. It was a scandalous, was scandalous. And, um, but that didn't um, stop it to be a success in sales. The Dangerous Liaisons portrays a mer um, merciless, uh, critic of the life of the French court. It is an epistolary novel, so it's a gathering of letters of different characters. It surrounds two main characters, Madame de Mercure and Vicomte de Valmont, two rich individuals that don't have to work to sustain themselves and that's precisely because of that that they have time for machinations manipulation games and power games, immoral to say the least. Principally, Madame de Mertil portrays an exterior of respectability and dignity, but in closed doors she is promiscuous, two-faced and cynical. Vicomte de Valmont is known to be a bon vivant, a ladies man, a seductor, and has a reputation that he is very proud of and makes a point to defend his reputation. Madame de Mertil and Vicomte de Valmont are friends in this story and they combine their efforts in a depraved objective. Madame de Mertil had a lover who left her and now he is trying to marry a young girl, a virginal young girl, who had his, her education in a convent called Cécile Volange. Madame de Mertul is friends with Madame de Volange, the mother of Cécile, and Cécile herself, so Madame de Volange, and in a way to get revenge on her ex-lover, she persuades the Vicomte de Valmont to seduce Cécile. So she wanted that she, she get to her marriage not a virgin, so she could have revenge on her ex-lover. The Vicomte de Valmont has his own plans, has his own plans as well. He tends to seduce Madame de Trevel, a married woman known for her respectability, devotion to God, and known to be charitable. For him, this is a challenge to prove his capability to imbue immorality in a moral person. You think, if you think about it, they have a perfect life. They have, they are comfortable, they are secure, but they are also empty. And they need this sense of power to fill it. Cordelo de la Clos does a ferocious critic to this futile and idle life. It even may seem a bit hypocritical 
hypocritical from his part to critique a life of privilege that he himself made, made part of. But when the French Revolution came alive, Cordelot de la Clos acted with the revolutionaries against the tyranny of the king and the aristocracy. During more than 100 years, even through the 19th century, Dangerous Liaisons was still considered a scandalous novel. It was only in the 20th century that this book was seen for all its intricacies. Cordelot de la Clos was able to anticipate in more than 100 years some of the concepts that Freud would develop. So this novel is really known for the psychological portrayal that it does from his characters. Although it talks about a society that doesn't exist anymore, Dangerous Liaisons talks about desire, fear, anguish, egoism, and the thirst of power and domination. Human feelings that are eternal and universal. I gave it five stars to this novel. I loved it. I was a bit skeptical because the it was written in letters and that is proven that is not my style as i've said be, in previous videos uh, but this time around is it was excellent i found the writing really beautiful very eloquent with very much embellishment that i wish i was able to write myself so the writing was chef's kiss. It has some letters that are memorable, that talk about the history of love between men and women, and also some memorable letters from different characters, certain characters. I had already seen the movie from 1988, if I'm not mistaken, and it was easy for me to place the characters with the actors and figure out who was who. After I finished the book, I, I rewatched the movie and I loved it. Again, <laughs> I think that is really faithful to the book. Of course, it omits some things and differs in some details, but the main plot is there. And the main characters, Glenn Close, John Malkovich, the main actors, I'm sorry. The main actors, Glenn Close, John Malkovich and Michelle Pfeiffer are perfect. Their acting is exquisite. It gives so much more to the story and conveys perfectly the intimate, the intimate of every character. I would really recommend you to watch it. So it's quite interesting to see the development of these characters, how some of them want to manipulate others. So this book is filled with intrigues and is um, sometimes a bit revolting how they achieve, they, they can achieve the machinations that they're planning. And of course, I'm not going to say anything more about the plot. I want you to discover this book and this story till the end. But I have to say that this story has a twist. And it's quite Machiavellic. So I would really advise you, I don't want to give you a spoiler, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm biting my tongue so I don't say anything because I really want to talk about this book openly but I don't want to give you any spoiler. But this book is fascinating. It's as I, the, of the few things that I told you, you have to give, to have in mind that the book doesn't end there and that, that has so much more to the story and the twist that happens here, it's like a vindictive revenge to all characters. Not all characters, well, it doesn't end well, okay? And doesn't end well to any of the main characters. I, I'm going to say that, okay? But some are vindictive. Some, 
are miserable and end up in unhappiness. So it doesn't end when end well for anyone. But the book is exquisite. I love this story. The, I, as I've said before, I love the writing. I think you will love to read this book. It's really easy to read and um, the writing is so embellishment, so embellished that is a pleasure to read this book, you know? So overall, I love this book. I'm a, a bit of a romantic, so I enjoyed very much the romance in this book. I have to say that in the movie, you have a little bit more because you have the expressions of the actors, so it's different, you know. In the book, it's a bit hard to pass certain things, especially because this book is not written in, in, um, in a conventional um, book, so it's written in letters, so that limits a lot the descriptions of the scenes, you know. So the, the narra there isn't a narrator, there are s s people telling other people what happened, but you know, the descriptions of what is he was wearing, what was his expression during certain scene, that doesn't exist because this is letters. So that re um, retrieves a bit of the um, mysticism around certain scenes that in the movie it's much more noticeable because you have the portrayal, the direct portrayal of the actors with their facial expressions that in the movie they are very significative, significative right? Um, right, right? <laughs> so that gives you the look that they give each other. The, um, so many things, so little things, but they are so um, important. So I advise you to read the book, it's exceptional, and I really, really advise you to go and see the movie right after. It has to be right after, so you have a fresh memory of what happened in the book, and so you can see the, um, the portrayal of these characters, the, the, the actors, as I said, John Malkovich, Glenn Close and Michelle Pfeiffer are so, so perfect for the roles. They portray so perfectly the personalities of these characters and the minimum things, uh, I think that John Malkovich was perfect on it. I think he, he added so many facial expressions in uh, every scene that were so signif significative and added so much more to the scene itself. It was magnificent, really. I love the story and I really advise you to go and read the book and watch the movie. I think you will love it too. And if you are romantic like me, I think you will love this story. So yeah, I hope you go and watch it. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a like. like. <laughs> it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.